congratulations to IDAC. Thank you. Thank you very much, Waziri. So, Your Excellency, all protocols observed, today is a great day for this country. It's a great day for this country, Your Excellency, because of your, your dream of getting affordable devices to facilitate inclusivity in the digitalization agenda has been achieved. I remember one time early on in the tenure of your government, Your Excellency, when you tasked us to oversee operationalization of your digital superhighway agenda, I asked you where we are going to get the money from to roll out these programs. And your answer is very simple, that LUD, you don't need money. Because as government, our role is not to compete with the private sector in business. The business of government is not to compete with the private sector, but to create an enabling policy, legal, and regulatory framework for the private sector to thrive. And based on that guidance, Your Excellency, we have worked through and through with the private sector in partnership to roll out our digital transformation agenda. When it comes to fiber, roll out of the 100,000 kilometers of fiber, we have worked with the private sector. Digitalization of government services, we have worked with the private sector. Roll out of the free Wi-Fi hotspots, we are now in partnership with private sector ISP service providers. So I want to thank you for that guidance, close monitoring, and tutelage, without which we would not have gotten this far. In pursuit of this digitalization agenda, Your Excellency, there has been a missing gap. The missing gap has been the device. Connectivity is only meaningful if there is universal access, Your Excellency. And in this regard, I want to thank most sincerely EDAC for helping us as government to close the gap so that we can at long last have affordable smartphone devices in the hands of the wider Kenyan population. In the same vein, Your Excellency, I want to most sincerely thank you because as far as this digitalization agenda is concerned, you have led from the front. This is a major change program in government, Your Excellency. And any time you are introducing change, people will always be resistant. Had it not been for your persistence and leadership, transformational leadership, we would not have gotten this far as far as our digitalization agenda is concerned. And for that, as a ministry, we owe you a great debt of gratitude. May I also, with your permission, Your Excellency, just recognize the invaluable input of a few individuals with whom we have worked very closely in pushing this agenda. I want to mention PS engineer John Tandui. He has been a key cog in our digitalization agenda. In the same vein, allow me to mention PS Bitok. Without consult, consultations and partnership with the Ministry of Interior through the State Department that PS Bitok heads, we would not have made much progress in our digitalization agenda, Your Excellency. I also want to mention PS Professor Edward Kisangani and all the CEOs under his ministry, especially the Communications Authority of Kenya, <laughs> under able leadership of the chair here, Mary Wambui, she has also helped us facilitate an enabling framework from a regulatory perspective as far as the telecommunication sector is concerned. With those many remarks, Your Excellency, it is my distinguished honor and privilege to invite you to come and talk to the congregation. Thank you very much. Let's all be upstanding. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.